Welcome to the show. This is Since 1974 Radio. I am Trayvon Martin. And I'm your girl, Mikey Matera, the redhead of the Midwest. Yeah. In the place to be. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we we here come to you live. Today is July 14th, 2013. And uh, it's the day after the biggest verdict of the decade. George Zimmerman was found not guilty. Yep. In the death of Trayvon yep. Martin. So I, my whole outlook was that if I commit murder, I, I can get away with it. But Ty told me no. No. And I was just curious because I'm like, well, if I shoot someone and I think they're, uh, you know, suspicious looking, that I feel threatened in any kind of way, how come I can't get away with murder? That don't work for you. Why? I mean, I'm pregnant. I want to defend. I'm a woman. I want to defend myself. I felt, you know, like. Yeah. Did you hear the story about the, the woman in Florida, in Florida, who shot to, in the ceiling as her abusive hus- husband was approaching her, and they gave her 20 years? She shot in the ceiling, not yeah, at her husband. Not at her husband, in the ceiling. Like, bow, back up. 20 and years. she got 20 years. 20 years. And From her George... abusive husband, who on record as being an abusive husband. That's in Florida, right? In Florida. What is up with Same Florida? Place, Casey Anthony. Get yeah. It, get it right. It's Florida. Florida. Duh. <laughs> 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 hey, man, I was going to go to the store and get me some Skittles, mm-hmm. but I was scared because you could get killed being black going to the store to get some Skittles. Mm-hmm. So I remember that Chris had Skittles that. At the uh, studio, so I got my own Skittles. That's crazy. And Chris is white, by the way. He didn't kill me for messing with his Skittles. Chris, what do you think? <laughs> Aw, nothing to say. Aw. No. Chris, so if I shot someone, why can I get off? How come I would have to go to jail? Would I have to go to jail? Or could I, you know, have a trial? And- I think the whole trial is messed up. You know, I mean, there was a lot of evidence that wasn't shown, and and there was also, you know, a lot of facts that weren't brought out in the trial. And the the, the bottom line is, I don't understand why all this violence is out there. I mean, it's 2013. Mm-hmm. I mean, come on, can we all just get along? Mm-hmm. No, you know, no. But still, it's like, how much evidence do you need to say some basically someone shot someone without cause? But that was the problem. Like the 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 uh, the defense, of, well, actually, the prosecutor mm-hmm. didn't do his job and pull all the information that was needed to try and convict and put him in jail for the rest of his life. I personally have a whole lot of issues with this case. But if we rewind the tape and go back one about about a year ago today, we mm-hmm. had this very discussion, and I told y'all then. That George Zimmerman was going to get off. You know, mm-hmm. when they were showing the pictures of Trayvon Martin being a little innocent little kid. Mm-hmm. Oh, he didn't kill the little black kid. You know, mm-hmm. Trayvon Martin was a teenager. Right. You know what I'm saying? Remember, we had that discussion. A teenager right. will kill you. You know right. what I'm saying? So I'm not trying to put up no defense for George Zimmerman because I really feel like this dude should be locked up because... It was no other weapon involved. There was no threat right. involved. So basically, I mean, they need you listen to the phone call when he called the cops. Right. They told him, like, are you following him? And he was like, yeah, well, you don't, you don't have to do that. That's okay, sir. If you if you got your ass whooped because you was following a person, yeah. then you were supposed to just got your ass whooped. You wasn't supposed to 
you, you ain't supposed to be able to kill a person mm-hmm. that you was because they say no, there's nothing wrong with following a person but ain't that kind of like that's stalking, stalking. Yeah, yeah they follow me I'm gonna feel threatened right and, and one, of, one of the things that I had an issue with in the trial was I'm used to a jury being 12 people right where did they get this six jury six people jury from is that just Florida and, <laughs> and six women six five white women and one black woman really is that does that say that George Zimmerman is gay if that's a jury of his peers? Wow. Wow. Six women? For real? Ain't no men of his peers? Really? I guess the way that... Like they were saying in court. Really? Really? <laughs> and they found him not guilty. Hey, not guilty. Not guilty. You a free man. Here go your pistol. And Bill Shoot Bonds somebody else keep again. Your that's what I said. Because you know how people get, you know, start getting mm-hmm. rowdy. I'm like, see... And I try to blame this on the younger society. I'm going to piss y'all off. Mm-hmm. But I say y'all ain't as G as we was. Because mm-hmm. when I was 17 and some junk, and something popped off, here you go. Mm-hmm. And something popped off, we had the L.A. riots. You feel me? When mm-hmm. my moms and them was a young age and something popped off, we had the Detroit riots. And when my grandparents was young, you know what I'm saying? We had Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. But you feel me? I mean, we may have one so, coming up. I so mean. it's, it's kind of like... What y'all going to do, generation? But y'all, our generations now, I ain't going to say y'all. I'm going to say our generations now is so Facebook and Twitter, and that's how they, that's how they express themselves. Yep. That's how they, that's how they rioted. That's yep. how they raged on Facebook and Twitter because it blew up Instagram and everything else mm-hmm. last night. That was their way of expressing themselves, whereas we was in the streets burning and torturing and robbing and stealing and causing the scene, which I guess is kudos to y'all because y'all are... Dare I say a more peaceful came to a more peaceful solution than we have in the past. So kudos to the young generation. Well, now they saying the DOJ urged to press civil rights charges against Zimmerman. Yeah, it ain't over. You got the you got the civil lawsuit. I mean, I think he's gonna live a witness protection program all his life. You, you got the go- civil lawsuit where the family gonna try to get some money from him mm-hmm. for the wrongful death. You yeah, got that a, is you a got, wrongful you death. Got, you got a, you got the civil rights to mm-hmm. see if he had did anything wrong as far as racism, and you still probably got a possibility of a federal trial. Mm-hmm. So it ain't over. It just was over at at a state level. Okay. Let's get into some music video. This is hip hop. Hey, if you want to discuss, uh, if you want to discuss the Trayvon Martin thing, call the show. One eight 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 six six eight zero seven four two. We won't have no guests today, so we are gonna have the phone lines open all day. Yes. We're gonna be talking Trayvon Martin. Since you want to express yourself on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, we're going to allow you to ins- express yourself here on Since 1974 Radio today. Let's get into Let's some go. music videos. After all that, I need to be smoking on a super blunt. All this <laughs> depressing news. So let's check out the homie Just don't CC. eat no Skittles, okay? Let's check out the homie. Oh, I'm going to have some Skittles when we come back. Let's check out the homie CC Marley from the west side of Cleveland with super blunt. Here on Since1974Radio.com on the MSC Radio Network. Man, this about to be the biggest blood out of never motherfuckers smoke, man. Cleveland shit. Yeah. I smoke that good, that good. I ain't even trying to stunt. I ain't even trying to stunt. Seven flavors, I'm a rolling up.
What you know about Cleveland? What you know about flavors? What you know about Cleveland flavors? All different type of Kush flavors. Two hours straight smoking. Got me feeling like I've been in the train wreck. Still blowing out AK. People keep asking when I'm bringing Bubba back. I've been smoking on purple. Mixed with a little bit of that sour cheese. Never catch me smoking red jeans. Ever since I was a young and I hated them seeds. I've been living in the blue dream. Smelling just like lemon scum. All these female plants in one wrap. I call this the orgy I smoke that good, that good. I ain't even trying to stun. I ain't even trying to stun. Seven flavors, I'm a rolling up. man the west the west and the south they they different i mean we different here in the midwest too but mm-hmm. not like like i say the rules the That's rules stupid. in florida is a lot different we got a phone call this is since 1974 radio.com who we got on the line hello hey y'all they hung up call back call back We'll get them back on the line. Just call back, you guys. Don't hang up on us. We're I want to ask you a question, though, real quick, Mike. Yo, what's up? If if you got a gun, mm-hmm. and it's, it's a nigga approaching you, mm-hmm. you, feel, you feel like he fit to do you harm, is you fit to scream help? Well, I'm not going to scream. I'll probably, you know what I'm saying, check him out, look him up and down, like, what's up, whatever. Scream him out a little bit and then but you got your thing which you got your baby yeah so you. i ain't really you know what i'm saying i ain't that threatened you know what i'm saying because so i don't you, know what he have but so i know what i have be on the ground like help help help, help. <laughs> no i'm not gonna scream help. i mean i'm not gonna scream i hope maybe he be, be the one screaming all right we got a phone call i hope we got this caller back on the line this is since 1974radio.com who we got on the line this is keep Hawk. how you doing what's Yo, up Kyle? what up though, bro? what's up What's good with you? What's going on? Oh, man. Not man. much, not much. Just working, you know. For sure, for <laughs> Getting sure. Getting ready for this event on Saturday. What you got going on this Saturday? Uh, we got the uh, first annual uh, Midwest Music Conference popping off Saturday at the Renaissance Hotel downtown Cleveland. Um, you know what I'm saying? Where we're having five major label A&Rs coming in to critique, give career, consultation, demo listening. You know what I'm saying? To striving artists, producers, managers, all type of entertainers. That's what's up. So, you know what I'm saying? As officially right now, we have um, uh, A&R from Bad Boy, Interscope, Atlantic, Universal, and Maybach Music. That's what's up. (laughs) You say that's this Saturday? Mm Mm-hmm. That's this Saturday, yep. The 20th. Mm -hmm. So this, not, yeah, the Saturday coming up. Mm -hmm. How do, uh, how can people get in contact with you on that? Well, they could, um, they can go to the website. Uh, previously on the Twitter page, we had announced that um, all the slots were sold out. Mm-hmm. But um, we actually, you know what I'm saying, people, we, we reopened the registration. You know what I'm saying? So it's not too late. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be too many, too many more slots, but people can go ahead and go register only at the website. It's www.themwmc.com, no spaces. Or you can just follow the uh, page on Twitter for more details, tips, and everything like that. And that page is at the MWMC. That's what's up. You said five major record label A and R is coming to critique and give uh, blessings on on some good music. Mm-hmm. 
Right. You get to perform for five right. major record labels. Right. A&R's. Right. It's, it's, it's definitely going to be a dope experience. You know, it's been a long time coming. We originally were supposed to have this back in March, you know, but... At the Grammys, just everything like that, getting everybody's schedule together. So it's official. It's this Saturday. It's going to be crazy. Even if they're not coming to, you know, um, to perform for the A&Rs or something like that, it'd be good just to be in that, that atmosphere to network with, you know, other artists. Right. And, you know, there's going to be Q&A sessions and all type of workshops and seminars for them to learn different things about the business. You know what I'm saying? It's going to teach them a lot about, you know, the type of contracts, you know, the the marketing, how to build your budget, just everything like that. Mm-hmm. So I feel like if you you ever aspire to be anything in music, you know what I'm saying, even if, it's, even if you want to be an A&R or somebody's manager, you should definitely be there. Right. I'm going to have to break my crutches out and hop along down, down, down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you we we already we already got two ties. We okay. got two and Mike. Sure. You know, Mike and y'all y'all definitely got to be there. We got y'all VIP. I'm coming, but I got a big belly though. But I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> we both gonna need handicap entrances. Yeah, I need a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. Man, but we... really, I called in for something more important. What's that? You know. American history right now. Oh, you know? yeah, I was going to say. I we, wanted to weigh in on that Zimmerman trial. I was going to say, we can't you know? let you get out of here without weighing in on that. So, you know, yeah, how you feel about the oh, whole yeah. situation, man? I mean, honestly, what be, before actually doing a lot of the research and, you know, following the case, because at first I wasn't following the case at all until, I want to say, about three weeks ago when I started following it heavy, you know, because I've been hearing a lot of stuff. And, you know, just hearing the phone calls and, and seeing some of the evidence and watching how the, the defense attorneys worked. And honestly, the way that the prosecutor had such a weak case, I wasn't surprised about the verdict. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like lawfully, lawfully, mm-hmm. the verdict, you know what I'm saying, wasn't a surprise. But morally, you know what I'm saying, they know he killed that guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They know he killed that kid. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, honestly, I can't be mad at the defense attorneys. They're doing their job, and their job was to defend their client, and they did a hell of a job of doing it. You know, the prosecutor, which to me, it's ironic that this is the same prosecutor who prosecuted the uh, single black woman um, not even six months ago for shooting warning shots in Florida. You know what I'm saying? That's the same prosecutor that prosecuted her. You know, and and they they can prosecute her, and they deny her to stand your ground law. But, you know, they they give it to Zimmerman. Right. And to me, I feel like I don't want them everybody keeps saying don't make it a racial issue. To me, you know what I'm saying, it would be it would be ignorant for us to ignore, you know, the the, the racial connotations as mm-hmm. far as, you know, seeing how 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 obvious that is, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna right. say Zimmerman killed, you know, him because he was black. He definitely profiled him. Mm-hmm. He profiled him because he had on a hoodie. You know, if yeah. I lived in that neighborhood, I probably would have profiled him, too. Me I wouldn't, too. I wouldn't have followed him. You know, I wouldn't have called the police. Right. You know, I feel like I would have minded my own business unless I felt some type of harm, you know, was going to be done to me and my neighbor. But if a kid is just walking down the street, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, mind him. my business. Man, it's, it's kind of like the dude said about the whole little wannabe cop thing. My man approached him with a gun and two flashlights, bro. <laughs> you, you, you chasing me through the hood like you a detective or something. The young man ran from the cat right. like, bro, what is you doing? Right. I was right. just that's just this you know what I'm saying, flat out murder, man. They just shouldn't have charged it as second I, I, degree I, murder. It should have been the manslaughter thing and cat would have got some years, you know what I'm saying? It'd have did at least ten years, at least ten, twenty right. years, but Yeah, I, I was to, disappointed. I was definitely disappointed that he didn't at least get manslaughter. You know, I felt like he should have at least got manslaughter because he pursued this young man. Exactly. There's no way you can tell me it's self-defense when you pursue this young man. Right. Right. You know, that's like that's like me running inside of a store and, you know, I got a gun. And I think just because they might have some illegal operation going on, I try to, you know, rough up the store. But right. the guy behind the cash register, if he pulls out a gun, and but I pull mine out and I kill him first. I'm not about to get self defense. That's just like, I went in that store. I, they were minding their own business. That's that's, you know what I'm that, that's just like I saying, pursued them. That's just like saying Trayvon Martin didn't have the right to defend himself. You feel me? 
Exactly. He got this dude following exactly. him. He don't know this dude. He can't go home. He got he got his little brother at home. He don't know what this man got on his exactly. mind. You don't want this man following me right. home. You know what I'm saying? So he 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 stood up for what he thought was right. Like, you know, my fuck, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and right. it just was a bad case of events. But like I like I was telling our uh, producer Chris earlier, you know, if it was if the shoe was on if the shoe was reversed, he would only got a small paragraph in the newspaper, and and Trayvon right. Martin would be locked away for a long time ago. We wouldn't have heard about no trial or nothing. Right. Exactly. You know and um. Yeah, to, to just to even hit on that, I, I what I what I can say is that I am um, I'm very proud um, as to how our community is responding to it. You know, nobody's you know done anything illegal and no one you know doing any any violence. I know a lot of people are saying stuff on on different social networks about rioting and getting revenge and stuff like that. But I'm I'm definitely proud of the community that no one has acted on any of that ignorance. That's right. what's up. That's what's up, bro. Thanks again. Hey, man, shout out that information one more time so they know how to get in contact with you this week about the Midwest Music Conference. Okay, yeah, they can go to the MWMC.com for more details, information, and how to register. They can follow the uh, Twitter page at the MWMC or, you know, just, just check me out or ask Micah. So, yeah. I got the info. Y'all got my Twitter and my, my IG, so let me know if y'all want any information on the Midwest Music Conference and I'll hook you up and I'll get you in touch with Keith. That's what's up. Thanks for calling, big brother. It was a pleasure talking to y'all. For pleasure. sure, for sure. If you would like to weigh in on the whole Trayvon Martin issue, make sure you call the, the number 1-888-668-0742. We gonna get into another music video right here. This the homie from Youngstown, Young Monster. You remember Young Monster, Michael? I remember Young Monster. You know he was on. Uh, he did. He was the one who um, he made the song Red Lobster, right? Lobster, not Red oh, Lobster. lobster. Look at you over there, hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you know he was on. Um, you know she's on... thinking food. <laughs> <laughs> when she says that. <laughs> you should have seen her eyes get big like Red Lobster. <laughs> big old saucers. Food. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, hey, you know he was on one oh, BT one oh six in Park uh, while I Wednesdays, and you know he uh, won. He so won. That, yeah, and they invited really? him to come back That's over uh, Independence Day. So he really been doing his thing. Wow. So we're going to get into this video by the homie Young Monster. This is Sucker Free. Congratulations, That's Sucker how we Free. Is. That's how we is on Since 1974 Radio. We Sucker yeah. Free. George Zimmerman Free. Sucker Free. Sucker Free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold up. We got, like we got another phone call. We got another phone call? We got another phone call. This is Since 1974 Radio.com. What it do? What's good with you? What's good with you? Slow motion. What's happening, brother? Hola, como esta? Man, I'm... Como esta, you know what I mean, girl? What's good, my girl? Bien. Like a rabbit holding it down forever, Ski. There it is. <laughs> um, I just, um, you know, I, I have heard the show before, you know, and, and, and I realize there's a lot of people going in right now on Twitter and Instagram and um, just about the whole situation. I just, I feel, I feel like this. I'm not surprised, which is a sad thing to say. Mm -hmm. um, it's a horrible way to kind of feel about the situation. But what's even more horrible is I already know the outcome of what's to happen. People are going to be irate. They're going to be running around holding up pitchforks, talking about we should do this, do that. But no one's going to make any solid movements. Everybody's footing is so unsure, and we lack so many leaders uh, that – it's gonna, it's gonna be we're gonna be really hard pressed to see any real change or outcome happen beyond the first week of of tears and, and heartache. And I, I mean, poor the the mother Trayvon's mom, man. I just feel I just feel so bad for her. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like I just feel like she's around a whole bunch of people in a room that all want to empathize, or sympathize, but nobody wants to to rise up and 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 and, and move forward with any type of a cause and past this situation because it's a lot bigger than this. I, I mean, I just, I don't know. It would be really nice if you could keep the anger to a minimum mm -hmm. and, and start a think tank. You know what I mean? Right. Like start some real ideas, get growing, get some younger people in the NAACP, mm -hmm. get, yes, get some movements moving. I mean, we lost the right to vote from right under our nose. Well, not the right to vote, but they repealed the voting act, which means that you can pretty bet 
pretty much bring back Jim Crow laws. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? For sure. And, and states that are notoriously known for not liking African Americans. Yeah. And I don't even like that time. Let's go back to being black people. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, Let's man, go back to being right. proud about something. Let's go back to fighting over books. You know? <laughs> getting killed like, skittles. it was a comedian that said the first thing on the block cats was hustling was books. Pages from books because learning how to read was illegal. Right. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, cats can hustle everything else but knowledge and literature. You you got to look for culture under a rock. Because it's not in your hood. It's not present. Mm-hmm. I mean, we got to do some, some other stuff. Like, we got to do a little bit better, man. Yep. Or stuff going to keep happening. Pretty soon, you going to look up. We're going to be in wits. I mean, get whipped and, yeah, and be in chains and stuff on somebody's cotton field. And then we're going to be like, damn, how we, I thought we was just riding on 20s. That's what I'm trying to yeah. tell people, man. They, they got us brainwashed, right nose, man. man. They got us brainwashed. For real, and that's slavery man. in itself. Being brainwashed, that's thinking real. everything is cool, and you know what I'm saying? Man, you got to do something. Right. You got to stand up. A lot of times, sometimes, man, you really do got to stand up and punch a motherfucker in the mouth for them to recognize some shit. Yeah. And you know what? <laughs> you you might have to take a violent approach, but a lot of times, because you don't. Right, that's you what I was just saying earlier. I mean, I, but you, I give kudos just, to this I'm generation like this. for being, for like being peaceful. You you take up arms when you utilize every resort and resolve mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so when you when when you try every way possible to do things the right way then you just gotta go out in the blaze of glory right but you gotta try other stuff first see we we we've got we've been so downtrodden for so long that our, our we always going down swinging but we still go down mm-hmm. it would be cool if we just educated these kids that are growing up now to know that they have options, to know that they can read and solve their way up out of situations, to study law, which is what happened in that courtroom. Right. That wasn't a courtroom comprised of gunslingers. That was a courtroom comprised of majority white moms. Yeah, you know, prosecutors. So had, we had a young brother that understood law and how law is, is to be, you know, broken down. Maybe he could have helped Trayvon more than anybody else. Mm-hmm. So you need more than one Johnny Cochran. That's my point. You know what I'm saying? Prosecutors don't know how to uh, work for black folks. They only know how to lock us up. But this is, okay. <laughs> you you you, you saying you saying exactly what I'm saying? You had, you had a so, prosecute. You had a prosecutor why, why not role in our my case. Son law. Why not get it so that I'm in a position where he can go to Harvard, study law, come out and help brothers? Right. Why not get it so that? segregation quietly happens again because I think the worst thing that happened in America and you know a lot of people gonna hate me for saying this and this ain't got nothing to do against, uh, against any particular race but real talk when you start desegregating things you start confusing people mm-hmm. you took all the talent out the hood moved it to the suburbs Brain. the hood struggles you know what I'm saying you, you're killing school systems by closing down you know uh, inner city high schools Moving all the talent, your athletes, your thinkers, your, your enterprises, your movers, your shakers, and you putting them out mm-hmm. and out far out, and then you know everybody else in the hood is stuck. They, you know nobody's inspiring you. You're not getting information on time. Mm-hmm. You're struggling. You know, and I do recruitment for colleges, so I know how they treat mm-hmm. people in general. Not colleges per se, not mine per se, but like just I know. Yeah, man, it's rough out here, bro. I want to thank you for calling, man. That was some good intellectual words. We got to get ready to shoot to a break. Uh, man. I appreciate it, man. Y'all, y'all have a great show. You know what I'm saying? Get the word out, man. Hey, Steve, no shout out your, um, you got an album coming out, right? I do. It's so funny. Uh, I was, uh, I ain't even call it in that capacity, but yes, I do. Class of 1987, uh, we are coming out probably at the end of July, mm-hmm. early um, August. Um, we're trying to let Jay-Z get a shine right now before we take over the whole entire game. <laughs> uh, but no, we really, we really just trying to get it in, give y'all quality music to the people. Y'all can um, visit us online, Class of 1987. Just search it on iTunes. Man, we, we got hits for y'all for days. For sure. That's what's up, yep, bro. appreciate it. Yep, peace out. Hey, we're going to have to shoot to a break. When we come back, I'm going to make sure we show this Young Monster yeah. video. Yes. So we'll Sorry, be young back. Monster. And stay tuned, because like I said, if you want to call in, the number is one 888 We're going to pay a few bills. We'll be right back. Yeah. Since 1974radio.com on the MSC Radio Network. <laughs> oh, pie. Listening. 
You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. The following message is for those with a credit score of 800 and below. Who wouldn't want better credit? Did you ever wonder how different life would be from just having a higher credit score? Are you tired of being turned down for any kind of loan or only offered high interest rates because your credit score is holding you prisoner? Life doesn't have to be that way anymore with access to Turn Score. By increasing your credit score only 50 to 100 points, it can potentially save you tens of thousands of dollars in interest over just a 5 to 10 year period. It can be the difference in getting approved for a personal loan, business loan, high limits on credit cards, a brand new car lease, or even a home mortgage. We see so many ads from companies that give us our credit score, but once we get our credit score, what are they going to do to actually repair your credit? Unfortunately, nothing. Until now, TurnScore is the first automated credit repair platform that is simple, safe, and secure. You'll be empowered right from the comfort of your own computer, so you can challenge and repair your credit report to ensure it's fair and accurate. Turn score is specifically developed with you in mind. There's no more need for an attorney, credit repair companies, or credit counseling. More importantly, no more need for paying higher fees. Turn score will help you get back on track and get the buying power you need. So whether you have bad credit, average credit, or even good credit, Turn score is helping turn lives around one credit score at a time. Go to turnscore.com and enter the promo code MSC20 and get 20 bucks off your purchase. That's T-U-R-N-S-C-O-R.com. T-U-R-N-S-C-O-R.com. Turnscore.com. Looking for reliable and affordable Shoutcast audio or video hosting? JWN Media offers complete Shoutcast hosting solutions for business or personal use. All plans come with full listener stats, custom web scripts for implementing your service into your existing website, full server control, super fast network, and huge bandwidth limits. A 99.5% uptime guarantee and friendly, knowledgeable support personnel dedicated to making your hosting experience fun and easy. With plans starting at only $3 a month, you have no excuse not to get a server of your own. Plus, with the option to add auto DJ and on-demand services, you can be confident your station will be all it can be. Custom plans are also available at their website. Simply visit jwnmedia.com and click the Shoutcast hosting link to get started right now. Hey, local bands and unsigned artists. What if I told you there was a place in Cleveland where you can get your merch made and have it sold in one location? What if I said you could bring your CDs and tickets to upcoming shows to this location? And what if I said you could do live acoustic sets at this location? I bet you're thinking there's no such place in Cleveland. Guess what? You'd be wrong. Contact Rick Navario at Rock City Cleveland and tell him you need merch made and you want to sell it in his store. Now how cool is that? You can tell your fans to come down and get your stuff. And I think he'd ship your products to your fans. And he's local. Contact Rick Navario at Rock City Cleveland today. 216-622-0377. That's 216-622-0377. If you have a product or service, let people know, know about it. Get your message out there and advertise on MSC Radio Network. It's easier than you think. And the whole planet is listening. <laughs> Find out how you can advertise. Email Chris at MorningShowCentral.com. I knew something was wrong when a little pretty white girl ran into a black man's arm. You're listening. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. P99 Technologies. Affordable and reliable web hosting done right. Jumping from one web host to another can be frustrating. Finding a good web host can be unnerving for even the most experienced of web designers. That's why Uncensored Net Noise has chosen P99 Technologies as its web hosting supplier. Established in 1999, P99 Technologies has evolved into a first class web hosting provider. It's 99.9% uptime rivals many in the industry. That's why they offer their 30 day guarantee. Guarantee, no questions asked. For more information, go to P99.com. P99 Technologies will help you get started with your web presence with honest and expert customer service. P99 Technologies, affordable and reliable web hosting done right. This is President Barack Obama, and you're listening to MSC Radio Network. If you're looking for the best,
podcast and musical equipment, recording gear, sound reinforcement, and more. Guitar Center has you covered. Guitar Center, located at 26635 Brook Park Road in North Olmsted, has the tools of your trade. With the largest selection of music and sound gear in the area, they cater to your musical needs and have the knowledge to help you out. Guitar Center in North Olmsted. Morningshowcentral.com uses them. You should too. Need to know more? Go to guitarcenter.com. With hundreds of live weather products and layers and thousands of combinations, Weather Studio provides a professional graphics and storm monitoring solution without complex user knowledge and without the industry standard price tag of $1,000 plus broadcast systems. Weather Studio displays a plethora of critical atmospheric and geophysical data on an interactive GIS-enabled computer map. Get your free 14-day trial of Weather Studio at their website, weatherstudio.paulmarv.com. That's Weather Studio. .paulmarv.com Call the show toll free 1-888-668-0742 You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on MorningShowCentral.com Lakewood Computer located at 14035 Madison Avenue in Lakewood has it all. If you're in need of computer repairs or want to cut the cost of ink cartridges and printing supplies count on Lakewood Computer in Lakewood, Ohio to provide it all. For the past five years, Lakewood Computer has been providing you with a huge assortment of computer equipment and services at very competitive prices. Lakewood Computer purchases and sells pre-owned desktops, laptops, and related equipment, and they offer outstanding prices on aftermarket printing supplies, including toner cartridges and ink cartridges. With 29 years of professional experience, Lakewood Computer is highly confident in their ability to enhance your overall computing experience. Check them out online at joeslakewoodcomputer.com. That's joeslakewoodcomputer.com. Or give them a call toll-free, 855-580-0768. That's 855-580-0768. I know, I know, oh my God, I know what we're going to do. Oh, it's so delicious, I can almost taste it. If you're looking for the best sub shop in town, look no further. Hanini Subs, located at 7310 Lorraine Avenue, is the place for you. Stop in for a cold-cut sub, cheeseburger and fries, wing dings and fries, and so much more. More. And almost taste it. Nini Subs at 7310 Lorraine Avenue is open 24 hours a day. Check them out on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Burrito Crazy. And if you mention MSC Radio Network, you'll get a dollar off your meal. It's all good at Hanini Subs. So damn good. User friendly and ready to serve. Morningshowcentral.com. Hey, if you out there watching the show and you want to have your voice heard, call the show 1 888 668 0742. We talking Trayvon Martin, but before y'all people start calling in, I'm gonna get into this video that I said I was gonna get into before we got started getting good phone calls, mm-hmm. which is never a bad thing. So let's check out the homie Young Monster out of Youngstown with Sucker Free. Here on since 1974radio.com on the MSC Gee. Radio Gee. Network. <laughs> I handle that business. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking these bitches. <laughs> yeah. We up in the smoke, better get your ticket, start life or no life, better join the business, young niggas, it's still rags under riches, and everything over bitches. <laughs> I wake up to a plane, it's my last flight Still smelling like the liquor from last night Shorty by my side, she just swallowed a half pint She say I'm evil or rich, she half right Like my weed bag, like my women Dimes, nigga, I'm living Smoking something exquisite Speak of it cause I live it Don't like what I'm doing, mind your own business If you don't like what I'm cooking, stay the fuck out my kitchen Fake niggas sneeze, they allergic to the real in me That's why even paraplegic niggas is feeling me Man Hating niggas be killing me 263, that EVE shit stealing me Ride or die, death means dishonor I would never say a word to your honor I promise <laughs> And with that said, let's smoke Next pack, I'm ready to go And you already know I'm sucker free 
I'm on deck with the pirates, iceberg, I'm a penguin, all of my bitches singing, Ray fans, green and black, very steady ringing, whoa, I can't describe it any better with a picture, ho, you wanna see what it's like, you better get your dough, niggas fronting and acting like it's difficult, life got no limits, you better get on your mystical, huh. there's no squares off in my circle, shake shit, this get murdered, this the shit that you heard of, RBM, my break the roof, bitch, I'm a boss, star life, but you can get lost. Fast life, I'm gassed off NARS Break down and roll up crops All I do is shop and get faded Money, money, we made it Only sucker niggas can hate it We monsters I'm sucking I like when I remember my first show like That nigga said I slept the whole way. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. <laughs> Shouts out to the young monster. That boy be going in. I see bright things in the future for that homie. If you want to call the show, it's one eight 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 six six eight zero seven four two. We talking Trayvon Martin today. I know y'all got some opinions out there. Y'all want to voice how y'all feel, so don't always go to social media such as Twitter and Instagram. Call the show. Feel me? I don't like how y'all was disrespecting Precious. I mean, Rachel Gentilly. Okay, who? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, explain it. Explain it to me, homie. The chick that Trayvon Martin was talking to on the phone when he got uh, whacked. You didn't uh, see her testify? No. I be at work. See, I work in the mornings. Look her up. Look evening. her up. Or Google her okay. image. Rachel Gentilly. That's okay. Precious. I mean, Rachel Gentilly. So what's so bad about her? Doom, doom. She was hood with it. She kept it 100. She asked, she asked the defense attorney, ain't you seen your first 48? <laughs> this is what she asked him. I think this is her. Uh, let me see. Is that how you spell your name? Nah, you done went to uh, yes. Twitter universe. Google, Google. I Google her, but she's not that important where she could pop up like that. Yeah, I'm sure she did. I'm going to put Trayvon. Spell it with a J. Spell yes. it with a J. Jen, Jen She's from uh, Cuba, Haitian or somewhere over there. No, it's worse. Oh, man. Oh, I found it. She was the business. So you liked her? No, nah, I didn't like her. She precious. I mean, Ranch Jordan Gentile. All I'm right. trying to figure out what Trey Ryan was doing. He must have been trying to get some paper. Shut up. Jeez. <laughs> he was paper Oh. Safe. <laughs> oh. Trey How old is she? Trey, hey, Chris, see if you can find me a picture to put up on the computer. <laughs> wow. Rachel, she <laughs> is not that bad, but still she looks like she's way older than him or how old he was. Look, she said... She said that she was. She told the police that she was originally 16, so she didn't have to uh, testify. But she's uh, claimed to be 18 years old, and um, they claim that she don't know how to speak. I mean, read cursive writing. She's grown. This is a grown woman. She, she is not. A she teen. don't know how to read cursive writing. Well, maybe she didn't. You know, in the third grade when we learned how to write cursive, maybe <laughs> she didn't do a good job. Come on, Chris. I know you could pull up a good picture of uh, Fresh. See if you can give me a side by side of Precious and Rachel Gentelli. Wow. <laughs> ah, Trayvon was a chubby she's chaser. She's nineteen. <laughs> you know what I mean, she's nineteen. Uh huh. She's cool people though. She had me rolling and kept me laughing. I watched the trial in its entirety because you know I've been laid up. <laughs> with my yeah, I've been at work, so I catch stuff. like little moments on CNN when I would come back from work. So, but other than that, and I understand Trayvon's struggles too because these skittles are good. 
Shut to you, up. brother. To you, Trayvon Martin. I eat what you can't no longer. I am not buying no Skittles. If I see a white man follow me, I'm a ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right, hey, Ty. Yes, sir. It's uh, my computer C drive. Go there. You'll see it. Her name's there. All right. Yeah. Wow. No, nobody else is not going to call the show? I don't know. Maybe they're they're busy. It's Sunday. Church, you know, chicken, food. My computer. C drive. This still is such a shame. Okay. When he was a kid, you're an adult. I mean, you're like, what? how old is Zimmerman? There's up, Chris. That's Rachel Gentile. And that's Trayvon's friend. She said, uh, I told him to run. You better run. He a pervert. <laughs> that's what she said. I told him, she said, I said, what he look like, Trayvon? She said, he look like a, 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 a what do you say? <laughs> a crazy cracker. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's too soon. <laughs> hey, I know it's too soon. And I know it's going to be some hate mail coming. <laughs> Send that shit to Chris at more <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. He had the biggest smile on his face, too. Hey, look, they was on her because she was uh, tweeting her nails. These are my court nails. <laughs> she tweeted that. Rachel Gentelli. I mean, she knew it was a big case. She wanted to be She told the defense know. attorney, I'm out of here. I'm fist to leave. <laughs> she was on it. She was on it, Chris. Oh, man. That was a good one. Sorry, y'all. I had mm. a personal moment. Mm-mm-mm. Hey, when? Chris, where, where is Sanford by? Sanford, Florida? Is it Orlando. by Orlando? Yeah, oh, for Orlando. Really? Hey, Ty, go to the C Drive again. Her, her, another picture. It just says nails. <laughs> wow I wonder if that happened up here What would happen If that was in Ohio How the trial would have went mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> There go her There go her Twitter nails Her court nails Hey is that her next to it Yeah that gotta be her That's her She's just smiling or Why making she that was face? covering that forehead Up in the uh, other picture Them bangs See that's that Instagram shit <laughs> That's the. Oh, that's make the, you look better than. Oh, now you like her. That's that. That's that. Uh, you said you look like Janet Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look like no damn Janet Jackson. You look like Freddie Jackson. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh man, yeah, she look a lot better on that picture than you. Know, but see, you can always tell. Another thing, I'm give y'all a little hint. What? You can always tell over set, uh, over a heavy set woman. If you if you're not a chubby chaser, you can always tell a heavy set woman because she always take the picture from her breast up. I do that too when I'm not heavy set. You heavy set right now. <laughs> Ty, there's one more in there. It says Rachel Meme. I am 135. I am not that heavy, honey. <laughs> oh boy, let me quit messing with my little sister. Yes. Yeah, oh lord. Not nah, yet. Yeah, nah. They are so rude. <laughs> Who made that yeah, picture? Like Precious, man. No, I don't no know. she looks better than Precious. <laughs> Next, her name is Gabby. What's her name? Gabby Y'all something. Need to stop. Sit away. Sit away. Yeah, gotta sit away. Sit away. Sit away. Sit away. Had enough fun, people, man. We gotta play some hip hop music. <laughs> Dang, I feel oh, bad for his family though. Look, if I was his mother, oh, oh I'm gonna count so. one more. <laughs> I would get him myself. Hold on, Chris. Let's get to the I music think matters is my own hand about his mother. We are, we are roast uh, Rachel in a few more minutes. Let's check out. Uh, <laughs> we are next. The 248 Block Boys. 248 Block Boys? Yeah. Where are they from? 248 Block Boys. This 248 got to be Pontiac, Michigan area. Mm, and that's the area code? Yeah, 248. All right. So let's get into it. This is called Peel Man. Peel Man. <laughs> <laughs> What is wrong with our hip hop community? No, I'm telling you, you get high, turn up. They rather hustle <laughs> that type of stuff than books and literature. Since 1974 radio.com. This is Peel Man, 248 Block Boys. Let's go. Mm-mm. Uh, 
My <laughs> brother was a bag of last night, nigga. Do you know how many beans I was off of, boy? I'm still nigga, rolling. Try four, cause, nigga. Look. Try four. Matter of fact, from the Carters, nigga, we need some more of them bitches because we finna go ham tonight, nigga. Matter of fact. You know what? Call them, cuz. Hello. What's up, family? Man, bring a party pack through this bitch. Oh, yeah. You gonna love me for this. Like, shit, I'll be opening like 15. Bet. What's good, my baby? What's up? Shit, shit, chillin'. Right for sure, for sure. What you got up, dog? Chillin', man. Oh, you know they was loving that performance last uh, night. Man, I'm still <laughs> for that from that bitch. <laughs> hey, hell yeah. I now mean, I look, turn it in. About we got shit. something popping tonight, nigga. Me and got the little house coming through. Got the barbecue, you know, pat eat, all that. So oh, just slide yeah. through, nigga. Be There's gonna be some hoes for me, man. Yeah, quit playing. Yeah, I'm just cupping them hoes, cause we playing tonight right here. Go fuck with Hell yeah. All right, all right. Baby. And welcome back to Since 1974 Radio. As you see, we still in on the Trayvon Martin case, you know, and it's just crazy because like, like, like Michael was just saying, you know, you, how you, how you whack a person and don't get nothing. Right. And at the, at the same time, I guess whacking the kid is not a bad thing. Like I say, he, you Age say don't he, matter when it comes to murder. He looked as suspicious to you. He didn't look suspicious to the dude at 7 Eleven. Why would you just... even get off your porch? Stay at your house, you crazy nut. Like, he's a psycho. Was it, anybody. The, was it the hoodie? 
It was raining. I'm not going to follow him if he is in the hoodie. I'm feel threatened if he is in the hoodie. I'm not going after him for what? It was raining. He's supposed to have on a hoodie. The hell? And then you ask him, like, I guess Trayvon asked him, why you follow me? And if a fight did break out, fight him back. But at, the, at the same time, you ain't got no reason to be trying to shoot somebody, boy. Man. Let's get into another music video. For somebody, for somebody get whacked for we for feel like we just watch, I go got out through here watching. and I just run somebody over on the know, sidewalk with a hoodie like, on like okay this is just like watching okay. Roots okay just like watching Roots this is off T by the homie TG too good since 1974radio.com yeah on the MSC Radio Network let's go that was you see I'm here yeah thank you bitch yeah. Oh, I see you, big homie. Well, it's that nigga that they call too clear. Black diamonds, grip wood, and all I know is money. money. Been money catching since childhood. And man, I'm so, so clean. Fresh. You would think the sex is my first cuz. First cuz. Hold up. Where was you when I was fucked up? Now I'm on the come up, bitches. Chalk me, niggas. Copy. But I make the blueprint so there ain't no carbon copy. Copy. I change up like a pitch in the MLB. I been a G, fuck the seven letter of the alphabet. I spin C, R, A, C, K. Straight drop, you know me. Put some rhymes low through my city. Cause the show my hoods don't follow me. So follow me. follow me. No be sweat, my dog. That's when I scoop the girl up like a crown bar. Yeah. First I do it for my streets. Off T. Yeah. Then I do it for my niggas, off T. I gotta do it for my bitches, off T. Cause it's AMP up in this bitch, off T. Off T, off T, off T. I be fresh off in this bitch, off T. Off T, off T, off T. Cause TG up in this bitch, off T. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, lay a nigga down, but we don't want no problems, we just came here to clown. Known to act a fool, known to smoke a whole pound. But if you ain't in my circle, you done fucked up now. TG, 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 yeah, no for wrecking shit. Peace and chain, hang, clip, lying on my head, yeah. Off T, off T, off T. I swear to God, I'ma kill him when it's getting lit. First I do it for my streets. Off T, then I do it for my niggas. Off T, I gotta do it for my bitches. Off T, cause it's AMP up in this bitch. Off T, off T, off T. I been fresh off the beat. Off T, off T, off T. Off T, off T, off T. Is all that? Yeah, yeah. Right. Say no more, man. I trust your work. Right. Take it easy. Oh, you don't get off your porch. You can follow somebody to the, wherever they're going. As you see, we still going in. I just had to make mention that, uh, like I was just telling Micah, um, the Martin family wasn't in the courtroom when the verdict was read. Mm-hmm. It was almost as if they knew that we, look, we can't have them in here when we tell these people it's not guilty. Because mm-hmm. that's going to flip, of course. And he had the nerve to have a smile on his face. I don't think you're part of a neighborhood face. watch. 25 to life. He Whatever. 25 to life. I'm part of a neighborhood watch crew. So my father's money home. No, you watch from your porch or your window, and that's all you do when you call the cops, and that's you done. Go home, go to sleep. Well, I'm going to stay home and be asleep, whatever. I'm following nobody up, man. That's rough, boy. I got a 16 year old son. Shouts out to the young Ty. Well, I'm a mother on the way, so shout out to my son. That just, it's just Best scary to know. know that, you know. I'm not going to play that. His life not worth it. That's crazy. You know. Um. Best in peace, Trayvon. And shout out to his family. I feel bad for his mother. No, she just can't take it. Shout out to uh, Shirelli Floss. She was supposed to be our guest today. I heard she had a death in her family. We pray for her family. Yeah. You know, we like Shirelli. We got to reschedule her so she can come back. Shout out to uh, Rhymes and Reasons. 
Yes. Had us out for the video shoot yesterday. The Creative Mind of Port Clinton, I believe, is their new project. Uh, I think so. Yeah, The Creative Mind of Port Port Clinton. They'll so. Be- they're going to uh, stop through the studio here soon. Okay. We got to be sure to, um, you guys can check out uh, the MWMC.com because so far, Key Fox said there are some more slots open to go to the um, Midwest Music Conference this, what, fr- is that Saturday? The 20th? The 20th. I think it's Saturday at the Renaissance Hotel downtown. <laughs> and then you know our um, our sponsor. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, guys. My, our sponsor. Owl Pie. Owl Pie. Mm-hmm. It's doing the Danish coffee and shop every other uh, Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Out at uh, Club Art Space, it's three dollars to get in. Mm-hmm. The next show will be the twenty fourth. They also have the uh, International Music Fest that's coming up mm-hmm. July twenty seventh at Club Art Space, where they got artists coming in from all over the place. It's a lot of events going on. Yeah, shouts out to Alpine, man. That, that, that's a, that's a good look. The a Danish working, coffee and shot. <laughs> a working process and entertainment. Yeah. Sponsors of Sense. I like that that whole right you know that whole little title is different. It yeah, it's going out. down. We gonna so. we got a lot of big things coming their, up through them. Their website should be done soon. Okay. It's it's alpi.org. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, yeah, it's got a lot of big things coming to uh, fruition with them. So I'm glad we got to see Planet there. Yeah. And uh, who else I want to shout out to? Yeah, Shout out to um, Steve for calling in. Um, be sure when we, you, Steve, you um, get your album done to send it our way. That is the class of 1987, right? Yeah. yeah. Shout yeah. out to my Columbus family. I went down there and kicked it with them for my birthday, which was uh, last Thursday. Nigga, you getting know. old. And shout out to all the kids that are pursuing something and want to be something out here that's not. You know, following the, I guess what now is the majority of what's happening. Drop out of school and trying to hustle something, but not, you know what I'm saying, use your mind to hustle out of those books. So, um, yeah. Have I saved my phone? I don't know. I don't know where your phone is at. Uh, the hell? Today is the 14th of July. I got 11 weeks to go. Shout out to me, man. Whoa. 11 more weeks. Then we're going to have another guest on the show. Woo, woo. 11 more weeks. <laughs> and he's down. having an Instagram. I'm going to start him on Instagram. Next week. What? We got your homeboy, Lino. In the building. Lino Boy Live. Yay. Fly Boys will be in the building. Fly Boys. Uh, new they also got an uh, album release party coming out on the um, 27th. I'm missing all parties. I got a big stomach. I ain't doing nothing. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, honey. So, uh, we got to get out of here. We, but like mm-hmm. I said, we'll be back next Sunday mm-hmm. with the Fly Boys of being in the Lino building. Boy live in the building, Lino, so be sure all, to tune in. It always goes down when we got the Fly Boys in the building. Yeah. You feel me? So, they'll definitely be here next week. Probably going to give out some tickets to the show. Mm-hmm. Make sure you tune in if you interested in going. I heard they got Mookie Montano, Referee, mm-hmm. Fly Boys, everybody. It's going down. Let's go. So let's let's go. Check us out next Sunday, 3 p.m. Since 1974 Radio. That's since 1974Radio.com. <laughs> uh-huh. On the MSC Radio Network. Yeah. Alpine Sponsor. Your best.